there's the shelter after uh, about a little over two feet of snow. Let's go take a look. You can see the uh, firewall. Now let's take a look at the shelter. <laughs> it held up nice. You see what I see? <laughs> Wonder if there's any bunnies in there. I see uh, tracks in, but I don't see any out. You gotta think, this was a blizzard as well. You know, uh, the winds were changing direction in every way and such. And I got about an inch of snow inside. That's pretty cool. Welcome back for another part of the uh, Pathfinder Phase 1 challenges. Myself and Windham Woodcraft are doing. Um, as I just showed, the shelter held up well. There's a little bit of snow in it, but that's expected in uh, these conditions. We've had two blizzards within the last like four days or something like that. And uh, what we're going to go over today is the shadow stick method. And I'm going to uh, gather the equipment that I need to do that. And I have to find a spot that's going to have sun for the next little while. So, be back when I get that done. Now I've found this uh, semi, uh, it's semi flat, and I'm just going to stick a stick up here, like this. Actually, I'm going to bring it over some. Uh, right out there somewhere. You want this straight. On a couple feet high, at least. You can have it a meter. You can have it, you know, many different lengths, but. They say two feet is pretty well good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the end of this shadow and put a stick. Break that over so I know that that's my stick. And that's set up. The challenge today was doing a solar compass within your campsite. Uh, the reason for doing this is to get a general direction of north. And how this works is by placing a stick in the ground on a flat surface and then you'll see a shadow cast. You put a stick at the end of that shadow and then you allow, uh, some people say 15 minutes. Now 15 minutes will give you a general direction, but if you the longer you go, the more accurate it is. You can be uh, off quite a distance within 15 minutes to four hour test. So that, it's up to you if you have the time. If you have the time, the best way to do it is start in the morning, say 10 o'clock, and then let it arc around and check it again at two o'clock. That will give you your best direction. Or another thing you can do is tie a string the length of the shadow and then make an arc when that comes back around and touches that arc then that then that is your uh, best you know accuracy right there so with this here uh, what this goes by is the sun rises in the east and sets in the west and as you follow the sun across that's how you get your arc now this here also, like I said, gives you a general direction. And uh, what that's for is where I'm standing, I know behind me is somewhat south. I know there's a highway down there south of me. I know that. Because before I came out, I always look on my map and kind of get a general direction of where I am and uh, where my camp's going to be and so on before I even leave. So I know that there's a highway down that way somewhere and uh, it runs, you know, a hundred miles down through there basically. As long as I'm heading in a southerly direction, it don't have to be right on, I know I'm going to hit the highway. That's what this is for. Um, 
you know, it, it's it's primitive. It's, uh, you know, just general. It's not going to be right on. It's just the general direction. So that's why we're going to do this. Now I'm going to let this set probably about half an hour to an hour. Uh, my camp's way over that way. I had to find, I had to go, you know, probably 50 yards or so to find a spot that I could get sun for this long. And uh, it's already moving. There goes a crow. Um, it's already moving probably about an inch and this has only been about five minutes So I'll come back in about a half an hour and show you how this works and how to do this But like I said when you do this if you have time the more time span you allow the more accurate it's going to be I think I'm going to uh, dig this out right here in this one spot uh, I collected some brush and such right here and uh, I'm gonna make a fire and make some chaga tea while I'm waiting on the shadow stick. Now I have thrown my fire lay from before. I threw it inside so it wouldn't be buried so I don't have to cut another fire lay. So, right now, I'll get these snowshoes off, maybe, <laughs> there we go, and I'll start digging this out. Better check real quick. I don't see anything. But you gotta be careful of that too. There could be a coyote cuddled up in there. You know. That's why you make a lot of noise beforehand. So if there is, they'll take off. I've got that somewhat cleared out there. Gonna uh, pad this down. I'm not gonna dig it down to the ground, I'm just gonna pad it down, clean it up a little bit, and start my fire. I brought in a few pieces of chaga. I'm going to throw them in the water and let them start soaking up and so on. And uh, then I'll heat it up and boil it for a few. Got a piece of lint in there. <laughs> what I've been doing to that shadow stick is uh, going up every 15 minutes and placing another stick. So, in between that, I've been doing this. <laughs> so, I'm going to uh, get the fire lit.
So I've got the uh, T on now, and as you see, I've just got this pole stuck into the ground, into the snow over there. And that's one good thing about the snow. It's a good prop, makes a good prop. Now I'll just let that uh, boil up there. I'm gonna put my lid on so I don't get as much uh, ashes and stuff in it. Maybe. I might have to come up. No, I'm not gonna be able to. That's all right. Gotta boil up anyhow, just the way it is. I gotta go back over there and stick a stick in. boiling for a while now and uh, I'm just gonna let this go out now I'm not gonna put any more wood on it I don't need it uh, it's gonna be soon to go over and uh, time to check the uh, shadow stick smoke <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna go over there when I come back and uh, we'll just let this keep going I'll get myself some tea so this is the lines that I uh, I kept putting this right at the end of each uh, shadow every 15 minutes. Your first stick you put in is going to be your west. And it goes over every 15 minutes as you see. Now the way you actually uh, find out direction from this, I'll have to get a straight stick and I'll show you. I'll show you the difference between 15 minutes and an hour. This is over an hour right here. So, your first uh, 15 mark is basically from here to here. So if you take this stick and put that there, from this point to that point, you put a stick across. 90 degrees from that stick is north. But, when you do it, you stand from this side. The side of your shadow stick. You stand there and your north is out this way. So here, Basically north is pointing about that type of direction right there. That's where north is by this here. Now let's see when you go way out here. So I'm going to take this stick and put this across here and here and put this one out 90 degrees and it's pointing this way. This one is pointing this way. There's not a lot of difference, but this one is showing that it's over just a little bit more this way. So there is a difference between the, uh, you know, 15 minute and the uh, hour. And now there's gonna be another difference if you do it over four hours. So this tells me north is that way, if I strike down, right down through there, I'm going to hit the highway. That's what it tells me. That's what this method is good for. I'm going to get a compass and uh, just show you general what the difference is from magnetic north to this kind of deal. Just so you kind of get your bearings that it is somewhat pointing north. My compass is not set to uh, magnetic declination for this area but it'll still give us a rough estimate. Is it pointing north to this here, or is it pointing east or west? We'll see. This is surprising. I just took a couple pictures of the results to this, and uh, it's actually showing north. Is basically right onto that stick. I did this same test at my home and uh, I got way different results. So location means a lot. A lot of factors means a lot. This will give you a good general direction. Right now this was right on. At home a half hour test I was off 40 degrees with this same compass. Now, at four hours, I was off 20 degrees with this same compass. So, 
I guess a lot of things, you know, factor in this. But it's still, even if you're off 40 degrees, you are still going somewhat in a northerly direction, between northwest and north. So you're still heading in that north direction. So if I was heading south, I need to head south, that's going to help. It's going to show me the southern direction I need, and I can head that way. So I'm going to drink my tea here, and that concludes the uh, part four, the solar compass within my, you know, personal space. Now, the next challenge is going to be on three types of primitive fire. So, that's going to be interesting. Stay tuned for that. Remember, check out Wyndham Woodcraft as well, because he's putting up uh, his challenges as well. So, thanks for everything. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care.